To make man a living soul, God made a man a living soul that man may have a soul as his person, with his personality, and as an organ to contact the psychological realm. In between our outward body and our inward spirit is our soul, our person. By means of the soul, we contact psychological things. I have previously mentioned some physical things and some spiritual things. Now I want to speak about psychological things. Take the example of joy. Joy is nothing, ma- neither material nor spiritual. It is psychological. If you come to me and find that I am unhappy with you, how will you know that I am unhappy? You will know by means of your soul, your psychological part. It is very clear that God has made us in three parts: with a spirit, a soul, and a body. To make man a tripartite being: spirit, soul, and body. God made man as a tripartite being. First Thessalonians chapter five verse twenty three says clearly that we have a spirit and soul and body. Hebrews chapter four verse twelve says that our spirit can be divided from our soul. Why did God create us in this way? Simply that we may be a wonderful person. We are wonderful because we are tripartite. Human beings are not simple. Do not consider yourself as simple. Related to the soul, we have the mind, the emotions, and the will. Related to the body, we have many members. Medical science takes years to study the human body and still cannot do it very well. Within our spirit, we have the conscience, the intuition, and the fellowship. God created us in such a wonderful way because He wanted us to be His container. We were not made for any other purpose. Our body exists that we may be a living vessel to contain God. If we are to be such a vessel, we not only need the inward spirit, but also the outward body to enable us to live on this earth, exercising our spirit to contact God, take Him in, contain Him, and even assimilate Him. Praise the Lord that we have been made in a wonderful tripartite way. For the sake of the young people, I want to use an illustration. Suppose you are a poor man. You endeavor to earn money, primarily to satisfy your physical needs. Eventually, you acquire a house, a good house, fine food, excellent clothing, and the best transportation. Once your physical needs have been met, you begin to desire music, sports, and amusements. This gratifies the psychological needs of your soul. Although you can afford every amusement, as you sit alone in your home at night, you have the sense that deep within you are empty. You still need something. You tell yourself you have everything. What more do you want? You have a car, a fine home, a good wife and children, every amusement and entertainment. Nevertheless, deep within you something. In says, I still have a need. Deep within you, something is demanding, requiring, and even begging. What is this? It is your spirit. This part of your being, your spirit, needs God. We have three kinds of needs: material needs, psychological needs, and spiritual needs, because we have three parts to our being. In human society, people take care of the first two needs and neglect the third. This is why the church is here, for only the church can help people to satisfy the third need. Although you may have the finest material enjoyment and the best psychological satisfaction, you are still short. You need spiritual enjoyment. You need God. You need to be satisfied deep within. Since I have been satisfied within, I do not care very much about a car or a house. My spirit is satisfied with God, for my spirit was made to contain Him. For the fulfillment of His purpose, God firstly made man as vessels to contain Himself as life. Man was made in such a specific way, not only with the body to exist physically and with a soul to express Himself, but also purposely with the spirit as an organ to contact God and as a recipient to receive and retain God. Man's soul is his person with his personality. He is a complete person. 
However, God's intention in creating man was not that man should express himself with himself. God's intention was that man, as a complete created being, might take God as life and express Him in all His personality. Therefore, in addition to his soul, man needs a specific organ to contact God, the human spirit.